If you are a potter who has been trying to find a pottery wheel that's not thousands of dollars, I have one that's perfect for you. I'm gonna review this pottery wheel. It's the Amazon one and I have been using it for about a year and it has been terrific, like better than I could ever anticipate it. This guy is a mess, but um, that's just who I am as a potter. I thought about cleaning it, but you know, authenticity wins. So this is just how mine looks after a year of throwing. But yeah, this guy runs about, I think, $150, maybe $160 on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. And let's talk about how great this little wheel is. So on this side of it, we have on and off switch. Boom. Turn on, the light turns on. Then there's also, it can go forward or backwards, which is pretty cool if you throw backwards. I don't know if anyone does that. Pedal, and then there's an attachment for a knob, which is kind of cool. So then you can just kind of go like this. I stand when I throw, so this is just great for me. There's a little bit of a lag, but it's not bad. You just kind of get used to it. It goes pretty quick too, as fast as I need it. It has four foot pedals, and you just kind of have to screw and adjust to make it so it doesn't wobble. I have mine rigged up on some cinder blocks and some wood so I can stand and throw, but it seems to work. It hasn't fallen down yet. Uh, the splash pan is okay. It separates here. If you can see, it separates here. These two pieces come apart, and they can clean underneath. There is compartments for the for tools. Frankly, I don't really like this splash pan, but what I have done is I had a spare board, and I just put this spare board up here, and it kind of sits like that. And all my tools will sit up here. I usually have a mirror up here, and the biggest downside is there's no bat pins. And I know you can probably drill in holes to create bat pins, but you have to make the drill the hole so perfect, and I just, if you mess up, then you kind of mess up your wheel, so we're just not doing that. I would say if you are a tall person throwing on this in a seated position is kind of rough. I thought I thought this was kind of in an awkward spot, this foot pedal. But if you make it a standing throwing wheel, then, then it's, it's pretty perfect. I haven't had many issues for standing and throwing. Plus, it saves your back. Another great thing about this is if you are someone who needs to like move your pottery wheel around, it can't stay in one location. This thing is super lightweight. I think it's only like 30 pounds. So you can pick it up and move it and put it away quite easily, which is awesome. Um, or if you want to go travel and throw, you know, you can just take it, throw it in your car, and boom. So if you're someone in the market for a cheaper pottery wheel, I highly recommend this guy. I highly recommend it. Uh, your $150, $160 will go a long ways. I'm one year into using this, and it's still going strong. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was a nice, quick, short review because... I like quick short reviews when I'm trying to buy something. If you're interested in pottery or anything like that, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Peace.